नमस्ते वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल क्यूबिड एजुकेशनल सर्विसेस आई एम प्राणेश द फाउंडर ऑफ द चैनल एंड एन आई आई एस सी बैंगलोर एलमस इन दिस वीडियो सीरीज वी आर सॉल्विंग द फिजिक्स एम सी क्यूज फ्रॉम आई सर एप्टीट्यूड टेस्ट ट्वेंटी एटीन एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व द थर्ड लास्ट एम सी क्यू दैट इज एम सी क्यू नंबर फिफ्टी एट फ्रॉम द पेपर ओके लेट्स रीड द स्टेटमेंट अ ज्वेलर इज होल्डिंग अ गोल्ड चेन ऑफ यूनिफॉर्म मास पर यूनिट लेंथ हैंगिंग वर्टिकली जस्ट अबव अ वेइंग स्केल एट शोर इन द फिगर ही ऑफर्स टू चार्ज द कस्टमर फॉर हाफ ऑफ द मैक्सिम रीडिंग ऑफ द स्केल आफ्टर ही रिलीज एस द चेन वॉट परसेंटेज मोर दैन द एक्चुअल प्राइस डज द कस्टमर पे इफ ही अग्रीज टू द ऑफर ट्वेंटी परसेंट फाइव परसेंट ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट एंड फिफ्टी परसेंट to solve this problem let us introduce some quantities let's say m is the total mass okay let us suppose that m is the mass of the chain and l is the total length okay so the distance between the his fingers and the surface of the the upper surface of the weighing machine that will be l okay now if you remember in our uh, electric field chapter electric charges in electric field we have charge per unit length okay we had called it linear charge density so we can also introduce a similar quantity here called linear mass density let's call it let's use the same variable lambda for that so it will be mass per unit length okay now observe that Uh, when the jeweler releases the chain okay and the moment the whole portion of the chain lands on the on the weighing machine the weighing machine's uh, reading will be equal to the weight of the chain but then uh, in the problem they are saying um, or we can conclude that because he is going to pay something more so the reading on the weighing machine will be greater or more than the actual weight of the chain right so why is that that is because the momentum of the chain as it falls down uh, will due to gravity that momentum is stopped by the chain correct now when momentum is changing there is a force acting on the chain offered by the weighing machine that is called the reaction and that reaction is what we want to calculate there is a similar sum in 2022 edition of the acer aptitude test when there is a block which is put inside a liquid and then that liquid is kept in a container on the weighing machine and we are uh, we are asked to calculate the reading shown by the by the weighing machine there okay so kind of similar situation acha so how are we going to solve this problem we are going to solve this problem by assuming or by considering one particular instant okay so let us say the jeweler has dropped the chain he has released this and let its height be h at in at some instant okay let the height uh, of the top end okay the distance of the top end of the chain from the surface of the weighing machine be h okay so let's also write that h be the distance between surface of weighing machine okay okay uh, or scale it says scale surface of scale weighing scale surface of weighing scale and top of the chain observe that this is going to be a decreasing function of time so dh by dt is going to be negative correct okay let's also mention this the reading will be maximum okay why will reading be maximum or when will it be maximum the reading will be maximum when the top of the chain lands on the on the surface okay now this is there because 
the whole chain exerts its weight and number 2 the momentum of the falling portion of the chain is maximum right because the you know this that the velocity when it is released from a certain height let's say y it is root of 2g y right so when y is maximum the speed will also be maximum now this is when h is equal to 0 okay this is when h is equal to 0 initially h is equal to l right that is where the the fall of the chain begins now to solve this problem let us first consider the free body diagram of the chain okay at at some given instant so let's now take this figure and uh, put it here let's now draw the free body diagram of the chain free body diagram of chain okay let's consider the upward direction as positive let's consider the upward direction as positive okay now what is the net force acting on the chain f net is equal to uh so there are two forces now acting on the chain first one is is the weight of the chain which is acting downwards so it is negative mg and uh, what is the other force the other force is due to the uh, the reaction offered by the scale right so let's call it n scale n stands for the reaction okay now bring in the second law of motion okay bring in the second law of motion what is f net f net is the rate of change of momentum correct it is the rate of change of the momentum now what is momentum momentum is mass into velocity right momentum is mass into velocity now please understand that only that portion of the chain will possess momentum which is actually falling down so the portion of the chain which has landed on the surface will possess zero momentum okay fine so what mass or what portion of the chain at the instant shown is currently traveling the portion of the chain whose length is h okay so only th that particular portion's mass needs to be considered now what is mass per unit length it is m by l or lambda right so in this case the mass will be lambda h and what is velocity of the chain velocity of the chain will be dh by dt velocity of the chain will be dh by dt okay it's negative and we know that because our positive direction is vertically upwards h is uh, well h is decreasing dh by dt is going to be negative right so let us now substitute this p okay let's now substitute this p here and see what we get so we'll get the derivative of lambda h dh by dt lambda h dh by dt is equal to n scale minus mg now let us apply the product rule of differentiation so firstly we shall get lambda into dh by dt the whole square because dh by dt and second term as it is plus lambda h d2h by dt square right is equal to n scale minus mg okay now uh, there are two things that we need to now focus on okay firstly this term what is this this is nothing but the speed or well magnitude of velocity square now at what rate is dh by is h changing with time observe that h is the distance h is the distance between the surface of the weighing scale and top of the chain isn't it that's the that's the distance h 
and dh by dt will be the speed of that isn't it so dh by dt can now be calculated by using the formula root 2gx right that that's the standard formula but what is x here if our chain if our chain has fallen this much by this much amount the height is h so what will be this distance this distance has to be l minus h so the top end has now traveled downwards a distance of l minus h so here i should write l minus h and not h okay that's the first thing secondly secondly let's focus on this term let's focus on this term d2h by dt square now this is well for the top end of the chain as long as it is falling it has not touched the surface it has yet to reach the surface what is the what is the acceleration it's acceleration due to gravity okay as long as h is not equal to 0 d2h by dt squared is equal to gravity okay it's straight negative g okay because it's downwards and our direction is upwards now th is this justified yes it is justified because this is free fall and under free fall what is the acceleration neglecting the air resistance it's acceleration due to gravity so we'll now make these changes okay therefore lambda into square of dh by dt okay so what will that be that will be uh, 2 g l minus h plus lambda h into negative g so let's take it as lam negative lambda h g is equal to n scale minus mg right so what is n scale the normal reaction offered by the scale will be now first of all let's bring this negative mg here so that will be positive mg okay now let's open this l minus h the first term there will be 2 g lambda l capital okay then the second term will be negative 2 g lambda h and what will be the third term the third term will be negative lambda h g now we want n scale to be maximum we want n scale to be maximum that's what the problem demands now when will this be maximum this will be maximum when both these terms which carry the negative sign they become minimum so that is possible only when h is zero okay so when h is equal to zero it will be mg plus 2g lambda l but what is lambda l lambda is m by l so lambda l must be m right so lambda l must be m so it is 2g into m so that's 3mg okay that is 3mg now let's come back to the problem they say he offers to charge the customer for half of the maximum reading for the scale okay so what is half of n scale max half of n scale max is 1.5 times mg okay so how much will the customer be paying 1.5 mg for 1.5 mg he should have been paying only for mg so what is the excess excess payment will be 1.5 minus 1 upon 1 so that is 0 0.5 or 50 percent okay 0 0.5 or 50 percent and that is option d okay that is option d for question number 58